Hi there everyone and welcome to this video for the Scraptastic Kit Club and this is my process video for the Kill the Kits series. So I'm working with the colorblind kit from Scraps Scraptastic and I've just pulled together some of the products in the kit and I'm going to be using those lovely frames from Pebbles as well as some of the stickers and papers from Glitz and some labels and I've also taken out a sheet of paper from Pebbles as well as the base which is going to be a paper from the cut and paste. So this layout is going to be built up uh, focusing on the frames from the Pebbles frame kit here and these are really fun frames you can open them up and slide your photo into them and then you've got uh, adhesive on the inside you just pull off the backing and then you can just adhere everything together and it won't move. I've printed out three photos uh, using photo sheets uh, to make the collage and then I'm just going to cut them apart and I'm going to use two smaller frames and then a larger frame with the photos and then another frame which is going to be kind of a, a feature uh, with the embellishments. So I'm just going to place those photos and see how I'm going to start off the, the design of the page and then once I've got the frames all correctly placed I can start adding all the rest to the layout. So I'm, I think I'm going to go with uh, the two smaller frames to either side of the larger one and just work in all the embellishments and the little elements as well as some steps. So I'm just going to let you watch the whole process. If you have got any questions just leave it in the comment section and I'll try to answer them and just enjoy the video.
Okay, as you can see here, I've got all my elements lined up, and I've already added a couple of stamps. So I, cr I added a stamp to the just to the bottom of some of the frames on the right hand side and then another one at the top on the left hand side just to create a kind of a flow so going from the bottom right hand side to the top left hand side or to the sides of the photo anyhow and I'm going to add a few little arrows I quite like add I really like adding arrows to my layouts uh, especially when I want to highlight photos or just um, draw the eye towards a point in the layout so here I'm just adding those to um, just below one of the other frames and just to the top of the other so you've got the stamped uh, arrows pointing to one in one direction and then just to complement it you've got those little stickers from the glitz sticker sheet and I'm just going to add uh, little elements um, just to complete everything so I've added one of those lovely wood veneer circles which has the word love on it and I'm going to try and integrate some of these uh, exclusive little tags and labels that come in the kits now I'm, I don't mind too much that you don't see the banner part anymore I just really love the top part with the black and then uh, the little word saying goodness on it and I'm going to add here just this little frame of the label and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into two so there are just on one side and just I'm cutting off uh, the excess and I'm going to place it on the other border as well and there, this way I create a flow going from the bottom right hand corner just up to the top now all I'm going to do is finish it off with the title and this one I cut out with my cameo and it says find you be you I really liked love the title and just the fonts as well and I cut it out using some of the pebbles paper that comes in the kit and then just to finish it off I'll be adding a couple more stamps from the stamp uh, the color blind stamp set and I'll also be adding some mist which you won't be seeing on this because I forgot to <laughs> film while I was adding the mist I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope to see you really really soon I'm really busy at the moment I've got some extra classes I'm teaching and so I don't have lots of time to make videos but I'm going to try and squeeze a couple more videos in for you and I hope to see you really soon bye bye